Let us know about the struggling period of India when the British invaded. Through the skit, Hard Earned Freedom, presented by the students of class 10 and class 4th and written by our own principal madam. It is about the history of India from the times when it was considered the golden bird to the invasion of the British Empire until we attained freedom. So let us now watch. Listen children, our motherland is our goddess. She nourishes us, she helps us grow. We must pay respect to her. Come, let us first salute her. One day. Mataram. One day. Mataram. One day. Mataram. Very nice. Now, we will tell you the journey of Mother India from the ancient period till she attained her freedom in 1947. Will you all listen to it? Yes. India or Bharata is a land of knowledge with a glorious past that mesmerizes everyone. It is the oldest and most vibrant culture in the world. Lord Rama, Lord Krishna, Buddha and Mahavir took divine birth on this land. So it's a divine land? True. This is the land of gods and goddesses, a Devabhumi. Rishis and Munis resounded the air with Omkara. It has shown the light of true knowledge to the whole world. Yes. Do you know, starting from the famous Indus Valley Civilization, our motherland has a golden history. Many great kings of the Magadhas, the Nandas, the Guptas, the Mauryans and other dynasties ruled our country and brought glories to our country. Then India had a golden period to this. It is really very good to know. Right, Tanushya. That was a bright part of Indian history. Chandragupta Maurya, 
Ashoka, Samudra Gupta, Krishna Devadaya, and Purushottama Deva are few names to mention here. During their day, Bharata is the highest of glory. Our country was the richest in all aspects in knowledge, wealth, art, culture, literature, etc. They taught the sacred mantra, Vasudeva Kutumbakam, to the whole world. India was a golden bird then. Yes, Daddy, I have learned the song. Can I sing? Yes, sure. <laughs> Beautiful Didi, isn't it? I never knew about such a glorious past of our country. Great receives great kings. Why does Mother India has to suffer so much? Yes, it is very sad to narrate the story of Mother India's degradation. She lost her glory because of some selfish and greedy people who never loved their country and allowed foreign invaders into our country. Downfall started since then. Invaders? Can you throw some light on it? Yes, sure. Hearts will wrench to listen to the story of Mother India's crown of glory being snatched away by the foreigners. The wealth and beauty of this glorious land attracted the Arabs in the 8th century. Muhammad Ghazni attacked India 17 times and plundered the temples around 1000 years ago. What were our kings doing? Many Indian rulers had become weak by then. Mohammad Ghori defeated Prithviraj and the rule of the Sultan started in India. The powerful Mughals ruled India till 1857, near about 700 years. 700 years? Yes, this medieval period was the darkest period of the Indian history. Greed for power, kingdom and wealth among the Indian rulers caused the fall of the powerful land of Bharata. Mother India was grounded and lost all her glory. It is really very sad to know how our motherland suffered. So such a long period of time she suffered. After that what happened? With the long period of rule by the Mughal, the flight of India did not end. Was there still more to suffer? Yes brother. Subsequently, people from all over the world came to India for trade, Indian sailing, handicraft, textiles and spices were world famous. The Greeks, the Roman and the Arab all initially came to India for trade. We Indians were so much scared. Right, but then the Europeans wanted to conquer our country and acquire our wealth by force. The Portuguese, the Dutch, the French and then the British came to India. The British won by defeating all the forces. The East India Company was established and slowly it started spreading its empire in India. And after the Battle of Palasi in 1757, the British merchants became the rulers of the Indians. For the next 100 years, the British tortured, plundered and snatched all freedom from the Indians. Our country's glory shattered and we were chained by years of slavery. Our mother was chained by the cruel British. I wish, if I were a freedom fighter those days, to have got the opportunity to fight against them. Yes, we also fail to fight against them. The story goes on children, have patience. The Indians were deprived of the freedom for over 200 years under the British. Slowly the Indians came together and revolted against the British in 1857 at Meerut. Many revolutionaries led the revolution against the British. <laughs> Mangal Pandey, Rani Lakshmi Bai, Nana Sake, Sankhya Tope and Bhadrat Mahal are few revolutionaries who fought fiercely against the British. Why did, why did Mother India does not got freedom? This, this revolt was put down with a great cruelty and India further lost its, its freedom in every place. How did India get freedom? Who could bring it? Yes, Indians were coming together, joining hands and steered the freedom movement. Indian National Congress was formed in 1885. Bal Gangadhar Tilak gave a clarion call Swaraj is my birthright. And Subhas Bose also told that Give me blood, I will give you freedom. Sabash. This freedom movement gained momentum under the leadership of Mahatma Gandhi, the father of nation. Many freedom fighters like Bhagat Singh, Rajguru, Sukh 
to sacrifice their life. Gandhiji fought with the weapons of truth and non-violence. Finally, the British had to surrender in front of the protest made by the whole country led by Gandhiji and left India. India became free in the midnight of 15 August 1947. Oh, finally India became free. of darkness was removed, the sun rose and our motherland became independent, a new era dawned. We became free after around 1000 years. It's really a great day for all of us. We could see the sum of independence. We are very sorry that we did not know the importance of a such great day. Sorry. sorry. It's okay everyone. Now that you have realized, let's celebrate the day and take oath. Serve our motherland selflessly. Today is our 75th Independence Day. Our country celebrates Ajati Ka Angrit Mahatsav. Let us be proud of our nation and sing the glory of Mother India. Will you all sing with me? Yes, yes Didi. Vande Madharam Vande Malayaj Sheetalam Shashya Shyamalam Mataram Vande Mataram Vande Mataram Vande Mataram 